Good morning, church family. Would you bow your heads with me as we approach our Father in prayer? Our Father, we come before you today as a congregation. Though separate physically, we are one in mind, one in spirit, one in purpose. We come to praise your name and experience the joy of your presence. Your love is extravagant. You poured out all of heaven in Jesus Christ to give us the gift of eternal life. How we love you for it. Your love is eternal. You promised never to leave us or forsake us. Your love is essential. No living creature could survive a moment without it. Father, your world is hurting. All over the planet, people are getting sick. Some are dying from a virus we'd never heard about six months ago. Please work in a powerful way to turn the hearts of the frightened, the sick, and the bereaved to you, the great physician, who alone can heal our diseases and comfort the brokenhearted. There are some among us who have suffered economically. They've lost jobs and income due to the pandemic. You are the great provider. You fed Israel manna in the wilderness for 40 years. You made water gush out of the rock. You sent the ravens to feed Elijah, so we know we can trust you to supply their need. And if you invite us to participate with you in your work, we would consider it a privilege, knowing that we too will be blessed. Guide our church our country, our world leaders, to wise decisions and truthful speech. Forgive us when we fail to live out your principles of truth, love, and freedom. Heal your people, all of us, from the damage done by sin so that we can glorify your name in all the earth. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus, our Savior, we thank you. We love you, Lord. Amen.